Hey second graders, um, I am so sad that this is our last video together where I am teaching you this year, but I will see you in third grade. Luckily I get to teach you again in music and performing arts in the third grade next year. And I know that we didn't get it a lot. This is going to be the only time we really get to talk about musicals together, unfortunately. So don't worry though, I have made sure that it is part of the curriculum for next year, so when you are in the third grade we are going to go over it again because I think it's important. So um, I'm just going to give you a very, very brief overview of what a musical is, and then um, as you saw in your packet, you have the option of watching a musical this week as your assignment. If you do not have time to watch a musical, that is 100% fine. We will end up watching a musical together next year when we talk about musicals. So, um, you should remember from the beginning of the year we talked about performing arts and that we have three performing arts. A musical is really special, different than a play, different than a movie, because it has all three of our performing arts that we've discussed. And if you do not remember those three, that is 100% okay. It's been a while since we've seen each other and gone over it. But that would include music, dancing, and drama. So you're going to have all of that in there. Everyone has to be able to dance. Everyone has to be able to sing or play an instrument. And everyone has to be able to act. So it's very important for the story um, and the musical itself. Um, you may watch a play, you may watch a movie when someone sings a song and it's not necessarily considered a musical. If you watch a movie and someone sings one song, it's not considered a musical. A musical, the thing that makes a musical a musical with music is that the song has information in it for the viewer, that's you, and it helps move the story along. So you could have one person singing, like if our lives were a musical right now, you could have me singing about being stuck at home and wishing I was back at school with my students and that, oh look, we're so close to summer, I'm going to start looking forward to summer. So it's kind of helping the, the story move along so now you know where you're going in the story. But you can also have songs where two, three, four, five people sing together and they're having a conversation. Um, without it necessarily being a face-to-face -face conversation, they're singing in conversation with each other. And that also helps the story move along. So that's very important and a lot of times dancing is involved while singing. So that's very cool. Um, if you have seen Sound of Music before, if you have seen Mary Poppins before, um, not the new one, I haven't seen that one, so I'm not 100% sure, but the one that came out in the 1950s or 60s, that one with Julie Andrews, is a wonderful film if you have a chance to watch that one. Um, and I gave you a list. Those are really good examples of musicals, so um, hopefully you guys have a chance to watch that. Again, if you do not have time, that is okay. We'll watch it together next year. But I miss you guys very much. I'm so sad that this is the last time I get to teach you this year, but I'm looking forward to seeing you in the third grade and seeing how much you have grown since the last time I got to see you in March. So um, have a wonderful week. I know you guys are probably really looking forward to Project Week, um, and I will send a goodbye video in a little bit next week for you. All right. Have fun, guys.